there's a, there's a proverbial saying that if you can't, if Muhammad doesn't go to the mountain, bring the mountain to the Muhammad, right? To Muhammad. So my point of view is that instead of, what's the advantage of Bangalore? The advantage of Bangalore is the broader ecosystem. There are other companies that they could work with. There is a very enterprising market that is out there. Why can't we do all that, right? I mean, just because a large firm is based out of Bangalore doesn't mean that a startup doesn't have access to that, right? So how do we connect these two together? You know, our folks are probably as tech savvy as anyone else, right? So how do we get them to start using the technology products? So, so I think to me, to me, that's that, that's that's probably the answer. So I think uh, Kerala absolutely has a potential, but it's about how do we tap our potential married with the appropriate ecosystem and take it forward. Absolutely don't believe that anybody is saying that because a startup is from Kerala, I'm not going to fund it. I think the key is that uh, do we have the right story? Are we pitching it right? Do we have the right mentors guiding and helping folks to get to the next level? Uh, you know, do we, like I said, you know what, uh, do we really even know the market that we are building? Because in many cases, and I've said this earlier today, that, uh, you know, folks are building a product for a customer in the U.S., when they don't even know what the customer is going to do with the product, how they're going to use it. You just don't build something because someone else is doing it. Build something where you can genuinely find a gap, and those are the ones that have succeeded. So that's, that's I don't believe that, you know, because it's Kochi or Trivandrum or Calicut that no one would fund it. I think people would fund it, provided there's an opportunity, because, you know, every investor, right, when you buy a stock, right, you don't look at where the headquarters of the company is based out of. You look at the potential of the company. So that's, that's how I believe it. Okay. Uh, now it's about 9.30, right? Time for dinner, right? I can give you a nice PowerPoint presentation or put a nice web page and talk to you about how the, din how the food is going to taste. Right? Will, you be, will you have any clue how the food is going to taste? Absolutely not. You have to really experience, you have to feel it, right? Like I said earlier, you can't solve a problem that you haven't experienced. Then there is no connect, there is no passion. You are chasing someone else's problem, someone else's dream. So you really need to feel and understand what is it that you are trying to solve. Then identify the gap, identify the right solution, and then solve it. Understand the problem first. If you don't understand the problem, you will never have the right solution. Yeah, so I am, I am a member of the Indian Angel Network. I am the co-founder of uh, CIO Angel Network. Uh, I do mentor a lot of companies, all in my personal capacity. So I don't try to, and I don't try to mix my work with my passion. This is my passion. Uh, predominantly because I do believe that India has a large potential and uh, Kerala, I do believe that uh, has an untapped market. So how do we take it to the next level and then provide them with the access, the, 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 the network, uh, in many cases even funding through the, through the angel networks that I am that part of. So yes, absolutely, I'm, I'm very actively engaged. Uh, I, I really believe that uh, you know, we, learn, we learn from the startups, in many cases more than the startups learn from us. Uh, don't be shy. Um, I, was, I was at the startup mission about a month or a month and a half ago uh, in a room full of budding entrepreneurs. I asked a few questions, you know, I asked, does anybody have a question? Nobody speaks up, right? When I'm standing right there in front of them and they're not willing to speak up, you think they're going to reach out to someone that they don't even know? So, you, know, you, you can't be shy. If you're willing to be an entrepreneur, then you, have, then you should have the right ingredients to be successful. And one of the first ingredients is to have the confidence, right? You, have, you will have the confidence when you believe that you have the right product. You will have the confidence when you believe that you have the right, right uh, idea. Uh, and the right network around you. But in many cases, you also need the right mentors. You need right understanding of the market. Uh, you probably also you know, need to know that if I have a problem, I can call someone who has probably experienced this before. Uh, you know, you know, we all, you know, you're going to be a pioneer. You're going to probably do something for the first time or maybe something better for the first time. But there are people who have seen similar things. Right? So how do we capitalize on that? So leverage, leverage your friends, leverage your ecosystem. You know, don't be the, you know, the big fish in the small pond, right? Uh, you know, get out of your comfort, right? Try to, try to break, break, break through.